Welcome back to our overview of Business 210. In this video, we're going to look back at Units 4 and 5 and look forward to what we can expect from Units 6 to 11. In Units 4 and 5, you examined good business writing and common formats for written communication in business. You were also reminded that you need to tailor your message to the traits of your audience. Now that you know the different styles of communication and which audiences they suit, you should also remember that using the wrong style of communication can make yourself seem unprofessional. A second key point that you should never forget is that good business writing must always be clear, concise, and compelling. Remember, many forms of business writing, such as business letters or press releases, have standard formats and content that will communicate your professionalism as well as your message. Looking forward, Units 6 through 11 cover public speaking and presentation. These topics use the same communication process, messages, and audience understanding as written communication, but in a totally different medium. Speech. In this section, you will examine the entire process of developing a presentation. As you do, you should pay special attention to each step's relationship to the other steps and their relationship to other aspects of business presentation. For example, when you're selecting a topic, you also need to think about your audience interests as well as trying to anticipate any potential communication obstacles. It will also be helpful to think back on the communication principles you learned earlier in this course. They will provide you with more options when trying to develop an effective presentation. As you work through these units, you may begin to think that you won't have many chances to apply these concepts in a real-world setting. You may be thinking that a more experienced person may be called upon to make a presentation. And in many companies, you're right. However, experienced individuals are also busy individuals, and you may find that oftentimes the responsibility of preparing presentations may fall to you. Finally, it's important to realize that anytime you are talking to one or more individuals in a business setting, it's a presentation. Being familiar with a variety of presentation options will make you a more versatile communicator and increase your effectiveness by enabling you to choose the best option for a given business situation. Keep going and good luck.